Hey gang, this is John, Snap-on John 100, and I'm out getting ready to, I just want to, I just came from work, and I thought I would go out for dinner. So before I go eat, I'm going to go for a walk and see if I can find something that I can uh, add to my dinner to make it taste a little better. So I thought I would bring you guys along and help me try to see if you can help me find some. Hey gang, here's my, um, my battery ran out so I had to put in another one. Right here is um, my roly-poly pouch that I got off the side of my pack and um, I put that, um, I found a vine that uh, from last year that looks just like um, has little pods on it that have fluff in them just like a milkweed does so I don't know what it's called but it's um, real dry and um, it'll be perfect for the backing of a bird's nest we had a lot of um, wind this past week and so I was able to find some um, blown down basswood I got it right here. There's three long pieces. So I'm going to um, process some of this. And um, I'm either going to make a bow drill set out of it or um, one stick fire. I'm not sure. But I've got some food with me, so I thought I'd try to make a fire if it doesn't get too late. So um, stay. I got a bunch of nice pieces. And um, I might try to uh, take some of the other pieces home. What I'm going to do is um, get the camera set up and I'll try to split some of them. Okay, I found a good solid baton. And I'm going to be using my Habilis Bush Tools Trapper, one of my favorite knives, and I'm going to be using that to um, split this out. Hopefully this isn't too um, pithy. Yeah, I can use this. I can use this. I'll um, just try to get it carved down a little bit. That'll work for a good hearth board. Now, for a spindle, I'm just going to use um, 
one of these ends. It was a small. So all I have to do is just point both ends, knock some of these knots off. Try the chest lever grip. Oh, they're so tough. I'm gonna I'm just gonna chop at them with this. Right there. Knock that one off. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Okay, now I got it pretty smooth. So I will point both ends. This one I'm gonna have for the um, gradual tapered end. Cause I've already uh, had that kind of chopped out. To keep, keep watching to make sure it's centered. That's pretty good. Now this end, I'll just make into a what I call bull nose, bull nose it off. didn't take much work at all. Okay, there's my spindle and I'm going to take this, um, I'm going to take all of this. Once again I use my Habilis bush tool trapper and as I said before I like the way I like having a sheath like this because I can make sure I put the thing back in. You wouldn't believe how many times I've sliced up my sheath trying to get it in, um, putting it back in because apparently I'm not very coordinated or something. But I, whatever it is, um, I like being able to uh, watch it go in. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get packed up here and then we're going to go on farther because I'm still looking for some more. Um, what I'm looking for is the elusive leak because I want to add that to some, some of the food I brought. Stay with me. There's a bunch of deer. There they are. There was a whole bunch of them. All right. Uh, I'm going to be using my You Dig It shovel that um, I saw. I read. I read about it in John McCann's book, and uh, I love it. It's a great product. It's a U.S. made, and it's a stainless steel shovel. The folding shovel Just folds and snaps into place. There. And um, I didn't have time to go to the place where I wanted to find my leek, so I'm just going to find some wild onions. They're all over the place. 
I saw some on my way in. So I'll try to backtrack and find some more. Here's some. These these are onions right here. This right here, this plant, is a wild onion. And the way you tell is if it uh, smells like an onion, it's uh, one of the edible onions. Anything that looks sort of like an onion that doesn't smell like one is not an onion. But if it smells like one, you can be sure it is an onion. And so I'll just use this shovel to help dig up the bulb. See, look at that. Beautiful wild onion. There's one. Here's another one right here. And just kind of go next to it and then pry up. It comes right out. There's another one. It's smaller. I don't need a whole lot. Oh, here's some more bulbs. These are a couple more onion bulbs. And there's some more right here. Right there. I wanted to get some leeks and I might on my way out look for them, but as of right now, I don't have time. So, collect these. That's enough anyway. Get them wiped off. Alright, I'll put those down here. Now I'm going to collect some firewood. And the method I use, right here in front of me, is a um, pine tree and it looks like it's actually dead wow I don't think it was dead last year but this makes phenomenal healing because you start at these little tiny branches at the very ends so I'm just gonna collect these I don't I've done this for you before but this is how I do it see all these branches all this stuff is so dry that it'll burn like crazy oh there's a deer staring right at me somewhere shoot he was right there there's deer all over this place I'm still not really good with this camera as far as um, being able to zoom in on something and catch it. All right. All right. Okay. I gotta get this uh, seated. So once again, you um, start with it at the very edge, and then you come over 50%. Using my bearing block. And let me see if I can get
Okay, put my put it on my instep, about an inch away from the where I'm gonna be making the hole. And starting slowly. that burned in so now I'm gonna be making a notch I'm gonna start with my Swiss Army knife starting right in the center Starting right in the center, right here. And I want the notch centered. And not quite to the center of the hole. Okay, just like that. about my notch and a champ for the bottom make sure you don't cut towards yourself that's why I had to stick it down that way I'm trying to keep it in the I'll try to keep it in the camera That should be a good notch. Okay. Make sure you put your knife away carefully. That knife is so sharp, I can easily slice the sheath right open, so I have to be very careful with it. All right. Now I'm going to try to get my ember. Find my ember catcher. Bird's okay. Here's the material I'm going to use for my bird's nest. My ember catcher right here. So this is a good place. Right about here. As you can see. So I got my bird's nest. Okay. And I'm going to use some jute for this. Okay, so my bird's nest is ready. I'll put it right here. And there's my ember catcher. Try to set this up so you can see it better. A lot of rocks here. I have to watch out to jam my knee on the one. That ember catcher is phenomenal because now I don't have to worry about trying to find a good leaf, which they're everywhere, but sometimes it's 
it's harder to find one than you think. Okay. Ready? I gotta get my bearing block out. I did find a uh, wild edible violet over there. Okay. You gotta fill up the notch. And start smoking. Notice I'm using the entire bow. See the ember smoking. I'll move it and then zoom in on it. There it is, right there. Okay, so I gotta back off a little bit because I'm gonna I'm gonna come over here and put it in the fireplace. Okay. See that um, that stuff burned really well. So I'll let that cook down, or burn down, and then I'll uh, get my water and stuff out. Oh, here's the violet right here. Now we're good to eat. I got my canteen, and I also have my Stainless grill. So I'm still letting this burn down a little bit. I'll get some of my try to clean up some of this um, these onions. I 
Looks like there's a lot of them in this in this dirt. Propagate some more. They're everywhere here. Okay. Try to clean them off as best I can. We'll get most of the dirt off. My mom's not here, so I won't get in trouble. One more. Here's one more. Kind of spindly one. All right. So I got tuna and ramen noodles, and I'm going to put some. Um, I'll be putting some the onions in there. I'll flavor it up. big logs that I can use. Make a fairly stable platform for my grill. It's not very big. There. Now there is a risk that this um, starts collapsing because it's I'm hoping I can get the water to boil before it, it uh, loses its integrity. Let's 
like it's pretty sturdy. Just two and ready to go. Get my spoon. Try to hold this so it doesn't fall over. chicken flavored tuna. Air is starting to boil pretty good. All right, now I'm gonna take it off.
still a little warm. some more the rest of my tuna. That'll help cool it down. Alright, I'm going to try to burn that to the point of so I can carry it out. That way I can burn all the food stuff off of it and I'll just be left with the foil part. Well, that's a lot of food. Boy, it's gorgeous out here. It's, um, it's 8.24 right now, so mm, it's very good, it's very hot, but it's really good. The um, tuna I put in there is um, the spicy, uh, sweet and spicy tuna, that's kind of oriental flavor. Oh, it's really good. Well, I told you I'd try to have enough time. This actually was just coming back from work. That's why I didn't have my cool outfit on. I just had this work shirt on. But um, as you can see, I was able to gather up enough materials to make my fire and um, except for I cheated on the uh, I put a little bit of jute in there um, because the cedar bark that is uh, that there's cedar trees here but they're so far away that by the time I got back here it'd probably be almost dark so I don't want to be starting this because this fire I've got to get this fire put out and under control before I leave I got a good rock ring here, but I don't want to, uh, it's really irresponsible to leave a fire, especially with dead leaves around. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to sit here and relax, um, and once again, I'll take this off. I did all this with the Habilis Bush Tools Trapper. A uh, few modifications I made. I turned it into a dangler sheath by using two split uh, key rings. One small one and one big one. They put The small one is there uh, so that this it lays uh, you know, this way on my side because if you didn't put another one in there it would lay cockeyed. So, uh, and then the fire steel loop this is another modification that I do is use the hair tie and another split key ring on a, that's a four inch, um, I think it's a, I'm not sure <coughs> how big that is. It's the same diameter as the army one, but it's four inches long and it fits in there perfectly. And then I just loop that stretchy hair tie over it. There's a knife five inches long. It's so sharp that that's why I have to be very careful when I put it away. I line up the spine and hold it down so it's lined up because if it's off just a little bit, it'll slice right into the sheath. Well, I enjoyed this and um, it was great having you along. I'm sorry I couldn't find the leaks there also over by where the cedar trees are. But I sure had a great time 
and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. Until next time, God bless. Oh, don't forget, if you're liking this channel, make sure you um, subscribe, and if uh, make sure you also like the video, and love to get your comments. Well, you have a great night.